Hey guys, the aim of this video is to use the method of substitution to solve this pair of simultaneous equations. So our first step is to rearrange either equation 1 or 2 so that we can isolate the variable. In this example, I'll be using the equation 1 to isolate x. So if we isolate x, we have x equals 2, subtract y from both sides, so we have 3 minus y. So this is equation 1, all we did is rearrange it. And what this allows us to do is that we can now see that there is an x that we can substitute into equation 2. So if we look at equation 2, we have 3y plus x equals to 5. But in this case, we know that x equals to 3 minus y from equation 1. So instead of writing x, we put 3 minus y and this equals to 5. This is equation 2 and what we can do with equation 2 is now solve it for y so we have 3y plus 3 minus y equals to 5. Grouping the like terms together we have 3y minus y is 2y and we have 5 minus 3 is 2 therefore our y equals to 1. So now that we have established one variable, we can actually use this y equals to 1 and substitute it into either equation 1 or 2 to find the value for x. Over here, we've already rearranged equation 1, so let's just use this, it's more simple. We have x equals to 3 minus y, and we just found y to be equal to 1. So we have x equals to 3 minus 1. Solving that, you get 2. So the answer to this problem is that x equals to 2 and y equals to 1. Quickly glancing at the equation you can see that this is true, 2 plus 1 equals to 3 and 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 equals to 5. 